What's up, guys? It's your boy Diesel Glaive here again for another cologne review. Okay, before we get into it, be sure and hit that subscribe button, punch that like button for your boy. Be sure and comment down below, gross in some conversation with me, man. I will always be sure to answer any comments or questions that you guys might have for me. Uh, hit the bell if you want me to notify you of any time I'm posting new videos. Okay, this is what we're gonna get into, guys. Are you ready? This is a banger. Dior Ohm Intense. Let's go. All right, guys. So check it out. We're going to talk about Dior Ohm Intense today. This is not the old version that I believe came out back in 2011. This is the one that came out a couple years back, 2020, 2021, something around that era. Uh, I did get my hands on it recently. It is extremely hard to find. Uh, I actually found it at an outlet mall here in the state that I live in. Uh, I drove a couple of hours to get to this place. I had heard through a guy that I trust that finds uh, good colognes, unique colognes for me. And he said that he saw it there. So I rushed up there and I got my hands on it. And guys, I was excited. So I get this cologne. I walk out, immediately open it up, spray it on my wrist. And I'm blown away. Okay. Uh, I had looked at plenty of reviews on it. I had read the you know, the notes in it, uh, the top notes, mid notes, base notes, all the good stuff. And I was really excited to get it. I was really disheartened. I, I get really weird about ordering stuff online. I'm, you know, I just, am I going to get a real one, a fake one? I know a lot of these, these companies are pretty reliable. Um, I think fragrance net is one of them, something like that, but I like to just kind of buy it hands on, you know, but I got my hands on this stuff. The place is really reputable. It's been around for a while. Uh, I knew it was an authentic version of it. And I'm telling you guys, when I put this on, I was blown away. Okay. It is very, very, very like high on the iris. The iris is very punch you in the mouth, punch you in the face in a good way. Punch the senses there. It's very powdery, <clears throat> mm, but it is delicious. It's it's very sophisticated. It's very powdery. The iris in it is a buttery type of iris. Uh, it's okay. The iris and the scent and the Givenchy uh, Reserve Privé um, is, in my opinion, better than this. Okay. Uh, the Givenchy Reserve Privé is, in my opinion, a better smelling cologne than this. But that being said, the Givenchy Reserve Privé blew me out of my socks, okay? This is amazing in its own right. It just doesn't have that nutty, like chocolatey, just boom, you know, mixed with the creamy iris and the powderiness that the Givenchy Reserve Privé has, but, but this stuff is amazing in its own right. I was really happy with the scent it was giving off of my skin, the, the compliments that I was getting from it just in the first day that I put it on. Mm. It's, it's been on my skin now for about five, 10 minutes. I will say this about it over the Givenchy uh, Reserve Privé. It is more sophisticated smelling, right? Uh, it, it is definitely something you could wear with a suit, tie, office. But you know your boy. I'll wear stuff whenever I want, kind of where I want. Uh, as far as you know, my taste in colognes and seasons, it's, it all just blends in together. Some people like to wear it on special occasions, certain occasions. Some people like to wear clothes to the certain to the office, to the job. Some people like to wear it on date nights, winter, summer, spring. I get it, but me, I just kind of wear what I want that day, right? This is one, in my opinion, would be very suitable for, you know, dressing up in a suit and tie, going to the office, even a a date, you know. Mm. It's definitely a clone that when somebody gets near you, they want to just put their head on your chest and, and not move it. It's uh, it's very cozy, very powdery, very irisy. But again, it is a creamy, buttery type of iris, not a waxy, irisy smell. 
The other notes, I, I may get a hint of some kind of like a nutty note in there. It's very subtle. It's not very strong. It's more just iris and powdery uh, that, that I'm getting. But it's, it's, it's a creamy, buttery, powdery iris, and it's delicious. Um, it leaves a very good scent trail. Um, guys, this stuff... I'm sorry, man. I'm sure I'm going to get some people in the comments saying, you know, what do you mean? I get tons of projection out of it. Look, again, what works for me may not work for you. What works for you may not work for me, vice versa. We may have the same experiences, but that's why it's exciting because we're all different. And we can have different experiences with these different colognes and whatnot and talk about them, right? For me, this stuff is very weak when it comes to the time that it will stay on my skin and project, hey, I'm here, smell me. Uh, I can put eight sprays of this on my neck, arms, chest, and in an hour and a half to two hours, it is a skin scent. Uh, it does not project very strong after a couple of hours, uh, on me at least. Um, it does lose some of its uh, magneticness, the punch, the mm, like, like right now, it's just, it's making my mouth water. That does go away and it becomes more of a, just a kind of a baby powder kind of scent on your skin, uh, at least on my skin after a, a couple of hours and I will reapply. Now I have layered this with, with uh, other colognes. There was one that I layered it with and it was amazing. And I know you guys are going to be like, ah, I don't know about that. Uh, I layered this with ultra male, Jean-Paul Gaultier, ultra male. And it is awesome. It smells like a nutty cupcake. And you talk about compliments it made the compliment factor of this stuff just shoot through the roof when I applied that ultra male with it. Uh, without it, uh, I do get some compliments. People are like, hey, you know, what is that? You know, that smells nice. Nothing like, you know, the the JaVinci Reserve Privé or the, um, you know, the, the YSL EDP, nothing like that. Uh, but it is a beautiful scent. Um, I will be wearing this more for myself. Uh, I do love to smell this on me. I'll spray it on me when I'm sitting in my chair. Just, it, it puts me in a good mood. Um, you can't go wrong with it guys. Uh, again, it, when you spray it on, it is going to be very euphoric to the senses. Uh, it is a very wonderful scent, very beautiful scent, more of a sophisticated scent. Okay. Very, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm successful or I'm, I'm very confident this, you know, scent, it just bleeds and shouts that. So, um, check it out guys. That's pretty much all I have to say about this cologne. I am glad I got my hands on it. Uh, but again, I highly recommend if you see this to get it, it is again in my area, very hard to get. Uh, I do not think it will disappoint in your eyes. Okay guys. So, Thank you so much for being here. I'm probably going to be maybe doing about three or four more cologne reviews in the next week or so. Okay. I'm going to be doing some Spice Bomb Extreme. Uh, I will do the original Most Wanted and a few others. Um, but until then, guys, make sure you follow your boy on Twitch right here. It should be somewhere posted right there. I'm going to put it up here and it's in the link below. Uh, hit that subscribe button for me. Hit that bell to be notified and let you know when I'm putting new videos on. Uh, punch that like button for me. And guys, I will be doing all kinds of videos on here from movie reactions to scent reviews. Anything you can think of, it will be on this channel. All right. Until next time, your boy Diesel is out.